In this video, I'll be showing you how to use H5P content in the Buddy Boss app. H5P is a web technology that makes it easy to create and reuse interactive HTML5 content, including interactive videos, interactive presentations, interactive games, and many other content types. H5P content is designed to be used for online courses, and the Buddy Boss app will support H5P content within your LearnDash courses. But first, let me show you a quick example of what H5P content looks like when used on the web. So here I am at h5p.org. Let's click on examples and downloads. And on this page, you can see a list of all available H5P content types. There are over 40 content types in total. As an example, let's go down here and click on image pairing. In this example here, it's asking me to match these animals on the left with their corresponding pattern on the right. This is going to be the zebra, and this is probably a cheetah or something like that. I'm not sure. I think that's a tiger, a flamingo, and these are confusing. I guess this is probably a parrot, and this is like a peacock or something. So let's see. Awesome. I got them all right. So now let's head to our WordPress admin. The first thing you'll want to do is install the official H5P plugin for WordPress. You can go to this URL, wordpress.org slash plugins slash H5P, and from here you can download the plugin. The way this plugin works is that first you need to create your H5P content, and then afterwards you can embed that content into a LearnDash lesson. So I already have the plugin installed here, so let's get started. We're gonna scroll down to H5P content and click on this menu. You can see I already have a bunch of H5P content in this website. I can always add more content by clicking on Add New. And from here you can see I have a list of installed content types to select from. If you're doing this fresh, instead of seeing the word details, each of these buttons will instead say the word get. Once a content type has been installed, we can click on details and then click on use. From here, we can give the content type a title and note that this title will be referenced later in the app. We can go through this interface here and customize our content for this type. So now let's go into a learn dash lesson so I can show you how to embed one of these content types into a lesson. So I have this course called H5P content. We're gonna edit one of its lessons. This one, image pairing. Out of the box, the H5P plugin expects you to use their short code for displaying content in lessons. However, in the app, this won't work properly. So instead, we've created our own dedicated H5P block so we can render this content correctly within our React Native app views. All right, so let's search for the H5P block. And here it is. This little mobile icon represents that we've taken special care to support this block in our app. You'll find this icon on a lot of other Gutenberg blocks. All right, so let's add this block into our lesson and we can see it says select H5P content from the block settings. Let's click to get to our block settings. And in here, we can see a list of all the H5P content we've created. The titles in this list are the names that we assigned to each one of these pieces of content previously. So just for this demo, I gave each content a title that matches its content type, so it's obvious. Let's go find our image pairing content type and click that. And then we can click update. And just like that, we're done. This will work on the web as well, so let me show you that. And here we can see the same content from the previous h5p.org example that we imported is looking really nice within the Buddy Boss theme and functioning correctly as well. Now let's go see what this looks like in our app. So let's go back to our demo H5P course. You can see that I've set up lessons for each H5P content type. Let's start with our image pairing lesson. And then we can tap on this image pairing button. Within this modal, I can interact with the content. For example, I can match our zebra with its pattern here, and I can match the tiger. As soon as I'm finished, I can close the modal and tap Mark Complete. The reason this content is showing in a modal is because it is actually displaying as a web view within the modal. You can think of it much like how an iframe works on a website. And this web view needs to be independently scrollable from the rest of the lesson content. For every supported content type, we have taken care to display a color matching graphic that represents that content type and to display your content's custom title below the graphic to provide the best experience possible. Let's check out some other content types. Let's start with flashcards. 
So we can see this nice flashcard graphic and the name of my content is flashcards. Let's tap the button and we can see some flashcards. Which fruit is this? Green sour fruit, I think that's a lime. I'm gonna close that. We can try interactive video. Let's look at multiple choice. I believe the answer is very dark purple. Let's check out the timeline. So this one's pretty cool. And we'll look at one more true false. Yes. You can see these are actually really fun to play with. So before I finish this video, there are a couple of important things that you should be aware of. The first thing is that there are two content types that we do not support in the app. Those are audio recorder and speak the words. If I scroll up here and open up audio recorder, you can see this message microphone not supported. And if I come back here and go to speak the words or speak the words set, which is basically the same thing and tap on this, it looks like your browser does not support speech recognition. Please try again in a browser like Chrome. Within these modals, we are displaying the H5P content type as a web view. The audio recorder content type does not work in any mobile browsers, and the speak the words content type only works in Chrome, but not Safari, which is what iOS uses to render its web views. You would get the same results trying these two content types on a website, loading in a mobile browser on your phone. If H5P is able to add full mobile browser support for these content types in the future, they should automatically start to work in the app. Until then, there's nothing we can do. The second thing you should be aware of is that because H5P content is designed as web views, it is not possible for it to work offline. The BuddyBoss app allows LearnDash courses to be downloaded for use offline, but this only works for content that can be rendered in React Native views. I'm doing another tutorial soon to show how offline support works. And in that tutorial, I'll explain to you how to turn offline support on and off on a per course basis. But beyond these two minor restrictions, you can see that we have added full support for nearly every H5P block in our app. And we've done so in a way that is simple and elegant for both the site admin and for your learners. This feature was prioritized based on all of the feedback we received after announcing the BuddyBoss app. I hope you all enjoy using it and that you find it super useful for your online learning communities.